Hello, this is Abraham with No Short Computer Services. What we have here today is a controller computer uh, from uh, Amada uh, Press Break that is a robotic press break. So this is a technology from uh, 1995, I believe. And uh, I just want to take it apart and show what's inside of it. Um, it's a Mata Astro, that's what it is. Robotic press brick. Um, this unit's been repaired already, but uh, I just want to go through the 1995 high end technology that probably most people did not know about. So, number one, this is uh, encased in metal. This is a laptop computer, sort of. Uh, that has been packaged basically in a um, uh, kind of a, a, a desktop or alright so let's take a look at the back just zoom in for you so this has been built by IBM and uh, as you can see, the copyright date is 1995. Um, it's amazing what I've discovered uh, from 1995. <laughs> All right. So it's really easy to take apart. We just need our screwdriver. Pull out four screws. Okay, so ready for this. Not much, but uh, what's interesting about this computer is uh, that it uses two devices that were not heard of in 1995. Number one, this is a flash card uh, similar to the uh, current SD cards. So this thing would hold the uh, files that you create, okay? And this is a hard drive. And take a look at this label here. Isn't that amazing? In 1995, there was something called an SSD, the solid state drive. 20 megabytes solid state drive. This drive in 1995 cost more than a car. Uh, it was somewhere in the area of uh, $5,000. This one was not cheap either. I have no idea what these things cost, but uh, this thing just pulls out. Um, and uh, you know you can take it out put it back in so the computer itself is nothing uh, unusual it's uh, 486 DX I believe so it's a 486 DX I don't remember what the um, speed on it is but uh, you can run this computer from a battery which is irrelevant for this application um, and you can run it from a, a power supply so the power supply gets connected over here uh, this has the touch screen um, so which is advanced for its day touch screen SSD 486 amazing uh, so I just wanted to show the guts of this little uh, machine that uh, runs a very big press. Uh, it's a machine that makes these kinds of things, you know, these metal brackets. So the press brake would bend them in different ways. So robot would take the metal out, put it back in, you know, rotate it, and you would make all these kinds of bands. So 
it's basically computers making computers, except not only computers. This this particular machine can make any kind of metal. Um, I don't remember the thickness, but I believe up to five millimeters, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not into that stuff, so I don't know. But uh, here is something that you don't see every day. Uh, this is a 1995 technology and uh, uses a solid state drive. There are no moving parts in here. So it can withstand a lot of uh, vibration. It can withstand uh, um, heat, you know, much better and uh, time, much better than uh, any uh, computer that I know of to date. So there you go. It's been working for 20 plus years and it's not without its problems but uh, here you have it. It's still still cranking along. So hopefully this uh, helps somebody and if you have some questions you can put it in the comments. Uh, uh, this is I think this is an amazing piece of engineering. All right, thank you.